Middle School and welcome, welcome to, to the Crow's Nest. I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Chloe and today is Monday, February 4th, 2019. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for today is about standing up for what's right. Courage requires us to speak out if we see something that we know is wrong. If we remain silent about it, people may think we agree with the wrongdoing. Hi, I'm Faye de Moichant, here to teach you how to speak up for yourself and others when you see something is wrong. There's that old saying, if you see something, say something, and, and that really holds true. If you see something happening and you don't say something, there's a really big problem going on. So if you, if you see something happening that's not right or kind of gives you that bad feeling inside, say something. If you see something that's going on with someone else and you don't say something, it's, it's almost an offense on, on your behalf to not say something. And saying something really shows your personality. There's nothing worse than just being kind of plain and never saying anything that really means something to you. So as you see something, say something. So if something's wrong, ranging from the extreme case of, let's just say you know that your best friend's boyfriend is cheating on her, say something and just Take time to prepare for what you're going to say. I always say that preparation is really empowerment for you. So practice what you're going to say in advance. So it, rather than coming across and saying your boyfriend's cheating on you, you might want to soften it a little bit and say, I, your friendship means so much to me and uh, I, I've seen something that's been going on and I, I really wanted to share it with you as difficult it is, as it is for me to share with you. I recently found out that your boyfriend has been cheating on you properly. Another situation is that you might need to speak up for others. There might be a situation where you're with someone younger who's not comfortable expressing themselves and if you see something wrong, you really need to say something and step in and help that person out. In the case where you're speaking up for others, this can be a little bit tricky because you, you don't want to be speaking for someone and making that person feel like they can't speak for themselves. So what I suggest here is being sure that the person who you're speaking for is not able to speak up for themselves. So that might be a younger person or perhaps a, a situation where there's a disability, but be really careful with speaking up for others and making sure that you're not speaking for someone else. And those are just a few ways that you can speak up for yourself and for others. And don't, don't forget, if you see something, say something. For lunch today, our menu will be buffalo chicken bites or sausage pizza, potato wedges, baked beans, pasta salad, and applesauce. Or you can choose a turkey and cheese kit or a grilled chicken salad. It's National School Counselors Week, and the Crow's Nest would like to salute Miss D. Aldridge for all she does for us. We are so very thankful to have you on our team, Miss Aldridge. The Crow's Nest would like to wish a very happy birthday today to Sarah Seals and Sadie Wilson. Enjoy your special day. That's the view from the Crow's Nest. Make, Make it, it a great week. week.